So I'm getting into Stewart, Florida today. This is about two hours away from our home base in Miami. Check out Sea Fox Boats. Now, I know a lot of you guys know this company. They've been around for a ton of years. Probably associate them as a more economical, like intro version to the center console boat. But a lot of things have changed over the years and that's what we're gonna see today. I've been talking to Brian Gottlieb at Sea Fox and they are even telling me that they're resin infusing some of these larger holes. Supposedly the quality has really turned up a notch and that's what we're gonna come see today. We're gonna check out their 228 Commander and their 288 Commander and loop them around the Stewart waterways. Check out the interior, see how that quality is and get an idea of how these boats ride. So I'm very much looking forward to it and I hope you guys are as well. All right, so I have touched down at Pirates Cove Marina here in Stewart, Florida. As you can see, it's gorgeous out here. Tons of sport fish, center consoles, a little bit of everything. And uh, the Sea Fox guys, Brian, uh, should be picking me up here soon with the 228 and the 288. We're gonna take a tour, check out these waters. First time I come here personally, so I'm pretty excited about it. Here we are, we just stepped aboard the 288 Commander by Sea Fox. I'm here with Brian, he's nice enough to take us around and to show you some of the highlights and features of this boat right now. Here we have Ryan, he's gonna take us through some of the instrumentation they have here on the console. Yeah, so this boat's factory uh, installed the Garmin uh, 12 inch screens, you got the dual um, and the black acrylic glass, all custom done. This boat's equipped with uh, the EPS, electronic power steering with Sea Star. JL Audio is standard on this boat. It's got real nice uh, stainless uh, waterproof switches, all LED backlit. This boat's powered with twin 300 Yamahas, all digital. It's got the uh, trim tab standard with the LED uh, Linco indicators. So just an easy, nice dash, all touchscreen, very, very nice. Yeah, so the history of Sea Fox was started by two brothers in 90, 1995, and all the tooling back then was hand done. Just you know, it was it was the way it was done back then. And then um, <clears throat> we ended up buying one of the brothers out, myself and two other guys, oh. and and then we got more into designing all the boats with a naval architect. Everything's CAD done from the the hull, the, the deck, even all the small parts. Everything's done by CAD. So what that does is your just fit finishes better, everything fits better. So you, it takes the, the human error out because everything all it's all machine. Every model now we have is, uh, is all done by uh, a naval architect. His name's Brad Dobbs, which was on the west coast of Florida is where he's based. And uh, you know when I tell people when you're designing a boat, it's kind of like designing a house. You know, you just give the naval architect your designs, you know, how you want it to look, you know, you're breaking your shear, your Carolina flare, and then we all design it on the computer. You know, as a team, we look at it, we give it the, the stamp of approval, and then we send it to either Marine Concepts, Vector Works, a couple guys, you know, down here in Florida. And they see go to yeah, they CNC. And then we've taken it a step further, they're actually building the molds for it. So they cut the plugs and they cut and they build the molds. Yeah, you know, those guys do excellent work. They they do what they do with so many companies for a reason. Yeah, for so, sure. Uh, I hear also your resin infusing, vacuum infusing some of your, your larger holes now. Yep, so we got a new 36 coming online in a couple weeks. We've been working on that boat for about two years. We just resin infused the hull. And then we're, we're in the process of doing our 32 and this boat, the 28. All those are gonna be resin infused. It's the wave of the future for boat building. I mean, it takes all the labor of, of rolling all the air bubbles and getting all the, you know, your resin glass ratio perfect. So, I mean, now yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's definitely the wave. Oh, well, there's so much competition out there. Obviously you have to, you have Elevate. to bring your A game. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Elevator die, as they say. You got to be on the top of the league if you want to compete. You know, and that's exactly what you guys are doing. I, I commend you for it. 
Yeah, and I mean, we're not, you know, the biggest boat builder, and we don't want to be. You know, we build 20 boats a week, which is a lot. That is a lot. But, but some of our competitors, they build 35, 40, and, you know, we don't want to be in that game. We just want to be more custom. You know, we offer three different interiors. We do all our interior at the plant. We do all our aluminum work at the plant. We offer a bunch of different colors on our hulls. So we're really trying to customize to the, the consumer to give them what they want. I mean, now, you know, you're spending 175 to 250 grand on some of our boats, and that's what the consumer wants. They have a, it's called a progressive downward straight design. So as the water's coming down the hull, it really pushes the water down and away. So the naval architect did that just to give you the driest possible ride, you know, out here when you're in the ocean. I mean, right now we got, looks like a west wind, probably 10, 15 knots, you know, chop. Just keeps you nice and dry when you're running. <laughs> One thing that I find extremely important to mention is that Seafox offers a lifetime hull warranty. That's something you don't see in the industry and that shows the confidence that these guys have in their new product. Lifetime guarantee and actually transferable up to 10 years to a second owner. All right guys, I just want to show you some notable features on this 288 Commander. First off, this is a new interior we're offering for 2020. It's called the Platinum Edition. So it's a nice light gray leather look with a diamond stitch. This boat's equipped with the optional filler that also turns into a table and a casting platform. So when you're out fishing or whatever, you can remove that cushion. It's got a nice marine mat under it. You stand on it, you won't slip. Throw out, you know, if you see bait, you know, or fish. So what you got here is you got a windlass up here. It's through the hull. Get your anchor from up on top of the deck. So it gives you a nice clean look up here. You got controls here at the windlass and you have controls at your helm. So it's really easy for the captain to deploy his anchor. Notice the marine mat on the back side of the lid. It's nice and clean and finished. All right, some other nice features on this boat is these flip out bolsters. So when you come up to speed, say you're on 30, 35, you can face forward, the wind's in your face. And then when you get out to where you're going, fishing grounds or whatever, you can close it back and lock it in place. Real, real nice feature. So another nice feature is these scallop seatings up here. Really comfortable, so when you're having a conversation with your guest or whatnot, you can just sit right up real comfortable. Most companies go straight across right here. We put a little angle to it, put a little scallop in it. Real, real nice and comfortable. You can see this massive lounge seat. This is great for your wife, for kids to sit up here. You got the armrests that fold up and down. It's contoured, so it's really comfortable. And then you can open this 
You can put all your bags if you're going to the sandbar. Put all your fishing gear in here. It also stores your table pole. Just real deep, deep storage. Put all your gear in here for the day. And on a side note, if you look, we, just, we switched to this new custom boat life caulk. It's actually custom made to the beating of our cushions here. Prevents from mildew, dirt, and your caulking. Gives it a real nice clean look. So at the helm, the Sea Fox 288 Commander, it comes standard with, with dual captain chairs. These are custom made for us uh, by Taco Marine. They got bolsters, built-in bolsters, these armrests flip up. And then underneath the cat stairs, you got great storage. Put your sunglasses, keys, wallet, sunscreen in these storage boxes. And then your batteries are in here. So they're out of the bilge, they're dry, they're easy access. You can get right to them when you need to. So in the cockpit, we really designed it for the fishermen. You got your rigging station here. You got two nice pressurized live wells. So you got a 45 gallon here, 30 gallon here. It's all water, no air. So your bait's suspended in the water. You don't have to worry about them sloshing around, getting red noses, so your baits are pristine when you get to the fishing ground. You also have a nice side door here. So this is great when you're at the, when you get to your dive spot, you can just jump right out the boat, or tail and fish, it's great. Or when you're at the dock, you know, getting, getting in and out of the dock, you load all your gear. Super easy to open and close, just flip it down. When you get done fishing for the day, you can just flip this rear bench seat out real easy nice dry ride back here soft and then you can also flip this up that becomes another jump seat and you got bucket storage and to control your pressurization on your live wells right there easy access another great feature on our hardtop is the built-in safety storage so when you get bored by the coast guard you can just drop this down get your fire extinguisher you got your flares you put your whistle paperwork etc right in here it's easy access Another thing that's nice at night with this hardtop is it's got 360 degrees LED lighting. So you got two floodlights back here, LED, two on the side. So getting, you're loading your gear early morning or at night, it lights up the dock. And then you got your rigid industry. It's a spot and a flood. So it gives you great visibility at night. If you're looking to do a long range trip or quality fuel economy, doing 30, 31 miles an hour on this boat with a twin 300 Yamahas, we're doing 2.4 miles per gallon. Very impressive on a 28 foot boat. So there you have it. That was our sea trial on the 288 Sea Fox Commander. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow more on the Center Consoles Only YouTube channel, Center Consoles Only on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you guys.